Keep your hands up, keep your chin down, shut the door, time to go with Randy Harris and Knockout Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, Knockout Radio with Randy Harris is about to start. So get ready for the best MMA talk, games, interviews, surprises, and surprises anywhere. For Knockout Radio, I'm the voice, Ray Flores, and now here's Knockout Radio. Hey, Hey, everybody. (laughs) What is going on, everybody? Back in the studio, this is Knockout Radio, brought to you by 8 Man Strong, Staff Zone, and Bucked Up Energy Drink. A lot of things to talk about, some pretty cool guests. We had a pretty cool guest, and hopefully it'll be rescheduled for next week, but first and foremost, what's up, boys? What's up there, Randy? It's good. What's new? How was your weekend? Uh, uh, eventful, long, uh, had to drive up to uh, Georgia, you know, it's, and th- there's two ways to look at this. It sucks to get old, but it beats the alternative. Yeah, that's true. You know, so we had some medical things to do with some family members and, uh, family member, my, my mother, uh, I got to see my daughter, uh, my daughter got a phone call and, and I don't know if you're, you probably are not up, uh, on, on her Taylor Swift guitar story, but, uh, Tamarin Hall, you yeah. know who that is? Yeah. Tamron Hall, uh, talk show host. Talk show host uh, used to be on like the, the NBC, morning news, NBC. NBC yeah. uh, reached out about possibly putting uh, the two of us on, so uh, I might be missing wow. the, one of the shows. Cool. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, it's cool. It's it, it's really so, a cool. So story. now you got to fill me in on the Taylor Swift guitar thing. So a lot of hate, including from the. the um, oh, this is supposed to be a nicer, well, the, uh, more. Well, the hate is more a question. No, it was hate. What happened? Uh, I'm going to tell the story. Just you. I'll turn your mic off. But hate from the non-smoking smoker. And how soon do you got to give a notice uh, to skip a show? (laughs) As soon as we get confirmation, I'm going to give it to you. So long story short, my daughter's getting married uh, in November. And uh, her and her fiancé are paying for the wedding. Uh, She's been out of the house for a while. Some other other reasons that we don't need to get into. And uh, my daughter calls me as the responsible... A uh, young woman. I hate that I called her a woman. I even in her birthday card, I called her a young lady because I couldn't <laughs> call her a woman. So long story short, she asked, Dad, what do you think about me selling my Taylor Swift guitar? It was given to her from Charlie Daniels um, for her 16th birthday. He gave it to me to give to my daughter. And, you know, weddings are expensive. I think it's stupid to have a wedding. That's just my personal opinion. I don't disagree with that. Um, especially when you're in debt. You know, she just yep. got her master's. Her, the boyfriend has her master's. You know, they're in debt. Yeah. You know, they just bought a new house. Blah, 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 blah. And that's one of the reasons why. But, but anyway. So we talked about it. And uh, I said, I'd hate to see you sell that. It's, you know, it's, it's such a cool item. But, hey, you got to do what you got to do to make ends meet. And it, she keeps saying it's the responsible, responsible. So uh, I went into, uh, a, I think it's called Taylor Swift Vault on Facebook. And, you know, she wanted to be specific. She wanted to sell it to a Taylor Swift fan, yeah. not a collector, and not somebody that's going to, you know, give less and then turn around and sell it for more money, blah, blah, blah. So then the hate came, including from uh, Bad Boy <laughs> Blue Shirt. Um, <laughs> You know, there, there's so hey, much. What was the hate? Well, Say hello to the bad guy. What was your hate about? Well, we'll, we'll get okay. to that. So, <laughs> a lot of hate from she should get a third job. She had a second job. She has a master's. And in able to make ends meet, she has a second and a third job. She would go work at a, um, you know, like a gym. Uh, work the desk until it was time for her to go and what she, her master's is in. The boyfriend has a master's. He's a therapist. He works for the school board. You know, they're working. It's not like they're bums. Uh, she should go get a third job. She should sell clothes. She should sell her body. She should sell this. She should sell that. Um, and then others stepped up and started to say, we would hate to see her sell it. We'll donate $13. Start a GoFundMe. Taylor Swift's favorite number is 13. It happens to be our favorite number, which means it was our favorite before Taylor Swift's. And, and it just took legs. And, you know, people started to, you know, donate to this fund. And then all of a sudden, some media people, it was in People Magazine. It was in, uh, was it you, you, Us Today? Us, us US, Weekly. Us Weekly. Um, some interviews, some people reached out from Mexico, Canada, Great Britain, blah, 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 blah. Um, some local media got wind of it, you know, interviewed her. Uh, Leslie Lacey, who's now down uh, in Sarasota, who's one of my numerous uh, on-call co-hosts, came and did some stories. And, and we got some, some nice stuff. 
and we got some hate from this guy, which <laughs> I'm, and, and before he tells you to hate, I'm not disagreeing with he, what he's going to say, okay? Um, but he's an idiot, but but that's another story. <laughs> um, you know, and, and, and it is what it is. He's our idiot. Uh, yeah, he's our idiot, at least for today. <laughs> um, you know, then the, the, some of the administrators from that chat room, you know, hey, can we see the wedding? So the plan is to, to stream the wedding in that, that Facebook page. Uh, will the guitar be a part of the wedding? Which it will in some form, you know. Uh, it'll be in a corner. It'll be there. Um, I've even said, before I turn my, Matt's uh, mic on, I've even said that, you know, people are like, well, tra if Travis gets wind of this, which he did, if Taylor Swift gets wind of this, maybe she'll reach out. Maybe she'll show up. We don't want that. If Taylor Swift's going to respond, she should respond to the people that donated money to this cause, you know, that they felt they wanted to, to donate to. Go ahead. So... <laughs> Hi, my name is uh, Gene at Matt. <laughs> Might be my last show. Is this, this, is this, exit, this is his exit <laughs> yeah. interview. Yeah. It was great to be a part of this program for 10 years. Um, look, my whole thing was just the platform in which it was done on. It was done on a GoFundMe. Traditionally, it's for people who have had accidents or medical or f funerals or burial purposes, and they're desperate and they need assistance. And that's what GoFundMe and some of those Kickstarter and crowdsourcing are more for like, hey, I have an idea. I want to bring it to the marketplace to create a business. People invest and donate to sites unseen or people unknown because of an idea or a theology or just a, a something that they believe in. I just thought it was the wrong platform because she's not selling the guitar. It's just donations for the wedding. She was going to sell the guitar. She was open to selling it, but then somebody suggested, hey, don't sell it. Just get Taylor Swift fans to donate money and give donations. So she gets to keep the guitar, and the money that they've raised is substantial, and it's well, measurable. And, and again, I'm going to keep interacting. And, and it doesn't matter... And it's not substantial. I mean, it's anything is is yeah, is nice. Sure. And and I made somebody reached out and offered five figures for the guitar after this started. And even if I didn't feel like it was a setup, which I did, yeah, um, it's it's not for sale. It'll never be sold. If one person donated three dollars, uh, it could it never be, be sold, sold yes. because it, it, this isn't a fraud thing. Yeah. And I'll let you get back into okay. it. My rebuttal is: we didn't ask for this. We didn't say, hey, can somebody help my poor daughter right. out? You know, some people like the story. They like that neither one of them are bums. They're hardworking. They're, you know, and they're just trying. They wanted to sell the guitar. Go ahead. I, I, so I just think it was done on the wrong platform. I just thought it was the wrong but it wasn't, outlet. But it wasn't Randy's daughter who started the GoFundMe. It was. Oh, what? Well, we started it. Okay. it because people in this Facebook page said, if somebody starts, if you start, it's a great cause. You know, they, they Googled her. They found out she does have a master's, you know, what she does. You know, she's a therapist for uh, nonverbal autistic children and, and young adults. Um, and they wanted help. They thought it, it, it was awesome. And some people donated more than $13. And, and, what I, and what I think like, got crazy in the frenzy was, one, it was when Taylor was at her peak. It's when Travis was winning the Super Bowl. When she was at her peak? Well, I mean, she's, she's still at her peak. She's still at her peak, but, like, but you know, six months ago, it was a lot more prevalent than it is now. It was because of the Super Bowl and all the yeah. notoriety and the attention. And it just came out at a time where it was like, I'm not selling my guitar. I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. I want to keep my guitar, but I need to pay for my wedding. And so Taylor Swift fans started donating money, and then it went viral. Again, that's and then people just started throwing money because it's Taylor Swift's story. That, but they I didn't I, really know the mission behind it. Hold on, they did know the mission behind it. And just to correct you, and again, I've no, no, no. I've said that you know some people said that there's veterans on the street that you know could use the money, and I agree. I mean, I I agree 100. percent It was never. Let's raise money so she doesn't have to sell the guitar. Let me ask this. As a, as a devil's advocate, as the bad boy. Shocking. As the bad guy. No, you're you're not, not the bad guy. I'm the bad guy. I got the show. No, the, the bad guy passed away a few <laughs> years ago. the bad boy. He's a bad guy. I'm a bad guy. No. Would be the bad boys? Razor Ramon is the bad guy. But um, Chael Sonnen is so, the bad guy. So I think if I remember correct, because I've slept since then, so you have to forgive my memory, but I believe the goal was to raise $1,000 when you set the initiative target goal. Yeah. So anything above that 
could be given back to Taylor Swift community or to charitable hospitals or good because the goal was met and then the excess that's my, my, my think a lot of the hate online comes from is well it's not for no the, the hate is that it was done in general how, how much is it over how much is it now what's the total well it's done I mean it, it's, it's run its course. but how much was the uh, I, I think about seven seven thousand um, dollars so that's a, that's a lot that's a lot. That's it was, it, it, you know, it is substantial. I well, mean, maybe it, raffle off the guitar, give it to a person and yeah, eat her. No, it, it can't. Something good with it because she got the, way more than a thousand bucks. That was the goal. well. First of all, the guitar is worth in excess of thirty five, forty thousand dollars, which I find hard to believe. Okay. Okay. I don't, I don't find that hard to believe. You know, it's well, it's not it guitar used or you right. know uh, concert right. used, yeah. but um, you know, I didn't know what w- was going on. Now, did she sign it? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's the thing is that it's signed. It's not necessarily, to the best of my knowledge, played. It's amazing. Charlie Daniels gave it to me for helping him, and then obviously it went to my daughter, you know, for her sixteenth birthday. Just an awesome story. So anyway, what if Taylor shows up to the wedding? Like, does that make the wedding better, or is it like, take away from no, your daughter's big day? No, it makes the wedding better. Well, I don't know. It could it could tarnish. No, because you see celebrities crash weddings. We have a celebrity coming to it. Which is why you're not. But wow. that's another story. What are you talking um, about? So, it, 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 like I said, Taylor Swift, if she was to do anything, should call out, should thank, should do whatever these people yes. that did what they did. My daughter did nothing. Now, what if Taylor and Travis come rolling into the wedding, walking down the aisle, like crash the wedding? That'd be awesome. Does it, does it make the wedding a success or a bust because like that happens? Because it was your daughter's special day. It's her day, one day on earth that's just about her. It would and be awesome. And she would get trumped. I don't know what. She would, she would be like the non-factor at her own wedding. I disagree with yeah. you. Yeah. I mean, I understand what he's saying. Yeah. You know, a sideshow and, you know, whatever. That but so you cool. see, But it would be cool. But it's you not going to happen. You yeah. see celebrities do that all the time. They're sure. walking by the beach, they crash a wedding, and they get photos with the bride. And that you think, oh, cool. it's so cool. But what about if it destroyed someone's wedding? It, it's a legitimate. No, it, it is legitimate because it would be. It could be. And that's why you have to be careful who you invite for that reason as well. Now, if I could just borrow $13, I would donate to your daughter's GoFundMe page. <laughs> well, <laughs> we appreciate that. And what I, I appreciate even more is your mic's now off. Yeah, and it's now time to uh, take I'll a either. break. Our first break coming to you live from the Cool Breeze <laughs> AC broadcast facility. This is Knockout Radio brought to you by Staff Song, Breaking Eight news. Man Strong. It's too late now. What? Then we'll hold the break. 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 What? You turn my mic off. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, this is Rock Newman, and when I'm in Tampa, I listen to Talking Sports with Randy Harris. This is the Tan Talk Radio Network. Got bills? Looking for work? But nobody is hiring. Staff Zone is as the leading provider of commercial construction, <laughs> in 